Hello, I am Michael Gaucher, and I created a program on Microsoft Windows using C Sharp, Microsoft.net, Microsoft WPF, and I connected this program to a Microsoft SQL Server database, all of which occurred on a laptop that has an Intel Pentium processor and four gigabytes of RAM. The great thing about this program that I've created is that it uh, demonstrates a couple of things, that you can take a program that's on Linux and not even understand what that program does in detail, but see the output of that program and recreate it in a different operating system. The RSS Reader Program on Microsoft Windows, written in C Sharp, connected to a local SQL Server database. The other thing that uh, we uh, have seen is that while the program in Linux was written in C++, you don't have to know C++ in order to create a program. And so um, I use C Sharp, which is a very lean, streamlined, and efficient programming language that I've been using since October of 2000. Code written in C Sharp, where data is pulled from a database and put in a form the program can understand. Spent less time building this application in Visual Studio, C Sharp, using SQL Server, and using Microsoft.net and WPF versus using C++, the command line, SQLite, and various Linux li Linux oriented libraries. I won't say they are exclusive to Linux because they're not. You can use them in Windows and Mac OS. Open source is very strong on Windows and Mac today and is very widespread. I started this process of inquiry around July 10th. I started it on July 10th and I finished it um, on July the 25th. Uh, today is July the 27th, so um, it takes a while to convert um, these videos into a form that can be viewed. But um, the work was done several days ago, and it looks like the process um, spanned 15 days, right? But if I look at the actual days that I spent on this, um, those dates are... July the 10th, July the 11th, July the 20th, July the 21st, July the 23rd, and July the 24th, right? And so um, the actual number of days, right, um, is six. So six days that I spent on this within a 15-day cycle and two to four hours a night, roughly two to four hours a night. Some nights were longer than others. So approximately 12 to 20 hours versus uh, several months for the C++ version on Linux. If a workday is measured in 24 hours, this program in Windows took two and a half days to accomplish. To build something really great or something really good or to explore it with, with sufficient depth, it takes a good while. And sometimes you don't need any of that and you need something that's more streamlined and more expedient. So it's all about what you need. And the different tools have different purposes. They can accomplish the same thing, but it's a question of the time and the depth to do so. So this is it. What I see is the more code you write, the more data you process, and the more complex your tools, the more you'll need a high-end computer. And thank you for tuning into this process and seeing what is possible with software development on a low-end computer. A low-end computer is not a barrier to software development, and with the right approach, you can make it happen.